Hey there. How are you doing? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, as Mr. Rogers used to say. Probably still says it in reruns, but beautiful day. And I hope you're having a wonderful day, despite any weather action in the work world or the country. Things are happening and, uh, you know, that's Hawaii. And blessings and prayers to Hawaii for all that's happened out there, you know, but we got to have faith. You got to have faith in everything that you do in every walk of life, through your walk, your journey. It's a five-letter word that a lot of people don't have. They they say they got faith in God, and but they don't have faith in themselves. You don't have faith in God if you can't have faith in yourself. Because you don't believe anything about yourself. That he made you and you can do whatever you want to do and get everything settled and right. I hear more people on the cash stuffing community and other channels. I can't. I can't. The word can't is going to keep you with a negative position in the universe. You said I can't and it says you're right. You can't. Okay, I can't get that extra job. I can't figure out how to do this. I can't, I can't, I can't. You keep sending up negative vibes out there, and that's what's going to come back and slap you in the face. Oh, negativity. Oh, let's do this. Oh, there's that extra bill you forgot. Oh, you forgot to pay the water bill. Oh, the electric bill just went up. Blah, 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 blah. You know, my electric bill went up. The air conditioning's running 24-7 in my house. Okay. It went up. I, I expected it. It does it every year. Okay, there's no sense in me complaining. You know, I'm hearing all kinds of things. Oh, the electric bill. Yeah, we know. And I said, yes, my electric bill is this. But I'm not complaining about it. I mean, there's nothing you can do. We know it's going to go up. Either turn the air conditioner on or, and stay in the heat or whatever. We just got to do what we got to do. We got to have faith that we got enough money to cover it. And I do have enough money to cover it. Okay. So I'm not really worried about it. It's like, yes, everybody's electric bill went up. Yes. I'm praying for you for those who don't have the money for it, but it's going to go up. And in the winter, the heat's going to go up. It's a never ending cycle, except for fall and spring, we hope. But it's just a never-ending cycle. It's technically a sinking fund that we need to be prepared for because it happens every year, right? That's a sinking fund, people. It happens every year. You know it's going to happen. Boom, sinking fund. You know it's going to happen. It's just like car maintenance. You got a car. You know it's got to go to the shop one day. Boom, sinking fund. And you got to have faith that you got the money to cover it. And take care of yourself. And stop worrying and throwing out negative vibes. That's the way you get rid of the negative vibes. Start saving. Save. Then you got it. You can say, I can reach and get it. Even if you got it in the savings challenge. And people have so many rules on here about the savings challenge. I have this savings challenge for dental. I'm getting a new pair of teeth. Okay, while you're doing that, the car broke down over here. Well, I can't touch that savings challenge money because it's for my teeth. But you can't get to work and your car don't move. It's sitting over there in the corner. You need to go into that savings challenge, you got enough, and go fix the car. And I hear a lot of people on here going, oh no, that's for the teeth. That's for blah, blah. Savings challenge, it's just, just a word. It's saving. It's money. You need the money for something else. Even if it's emergency money. If you have an emergency fund, everybody wants to, got to hold on to that fund. Okay, yes, we do have to hold on to the fund as much as we can. And that's why I call mine savings. I don't do emergencies too much there. I'm like, nope, I just do it for the channel now. Because every time I have an emergency, one pops up. Sending bad vibes out. I can't do it. But in your case, if it's an emergency, you need it. Refund it again. You act like you can't refund it again. If you did it once, you can do it again. It's just like God. If you did it once, he can do it again. You have no faith in yourself. 
And that little five-letter word is just out there. You're pretending, oh, yeah, I got faith in God. God will provide. He will provide, but sometimes you got to provide for yourself for him to go into action. He wants to see what you can do sometimes instead of whining and crying and falling out on the floor. Okay. Throw them bills down, dance all over them, and say, hey, I'm, I'm going to get it together. I got this um, postcard from Cash Rich Mama. Okay, and she's in Hawaii. Ooh, it's so pretty. I got it on my desk. It's lovely. Got a little color, so that just brightens your day, and it'll be there through the snowstorms. And she says, Aloha, beautiful lady. I appreciate all you do for our community and for me, too. Sending love to you and your children. Auntie Mel, cash rich mama. So thank you so much. It was so beautiful. My son went into the post office and got it for me. He came out and he said, look at this. <laughs> and I said, yes, yes, yes. You're, um, they, they have, I told you, the uh, Japanese grandmother, she's from um, Okinawa, was born in Japan. And um, she, you know, the relatives are in Hawaii. So, I told you my family is mixed to the top up there. There's no room for prejudice in our house. You can't be. My grandmother, one grandmother is white as the driven snow. She will turn on you in a minute about, <laughs> I am their grandchildren. That is my grandchild. That's my great grandchild. Oh. <laughs> you just don't want to say anything. So, of course, we're going into the family binder to make sure it's all right for the week. And for the first one, welcome to the <laughs> show. Welcome to the <laughs> show. Yeah, yeah. And it always needs $10. I don't think we take took anything out of here, but, you know, sometimes things happen. It's a little empty. <laughs> no, it's got 200 so we'll have two hundred and ten dollars in there. Ten dollars, and it should be. Let me check. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, two hundred and ten. Two hundred and ten. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, what have y'all been doing? This week, I hope you are happy. I mean, right to the bottom. Happy and wealthy and wise and, and thinking you're wealthy so you can manifest that moolah. Just walk around strutting. I got the money. I'm in the money. Okay, gas. I'm going to put 40 in here. So we got one, two, three, two twenties. We got 60. Come on. Stop sticking together. So we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Let's see what's on the tracker. Okay. So that will make it 100 and 100 in there. Yeah, straight out of groceries. Come on. 100, 200, 300, 50, 70. I'm taking out these ones. Use them for the other savings challenge. Come on. Okay, bye. Four ones gone. Okay, so we got 350. 70, 390, and no four because I took the four out. Four dollars up. So we will subtract that. Four dollars, no, four dollars. So that's 390 in there. And then I'm going to put 40 in there to keep it going. In case, 
I don't intend to go to the store. Here we go. So that'll make 430. All right. Farmer's Market. It is winding down. Well, it will be in September, but not now. I don't think there's anything in there. Yep, nothing in there. So we're going to put $200 in there. Let go. One, two. We're going to put $200 in there to the farmer's market. Because I am canning and everything else. And um, canning tomatoes and corn and whatever for the winter. Okay, Starbucks, five dollars. We will do. There's twenty in there. So, what did you say you were doing? What did you do for the week? What did you do for the weekend? Did you do anything? Did you do anything for yourself? It's 20, 25. Some of you probably did nothing for yourself. You were running around for everybody else. Mom, I need this. Honey, can you go get this? Did nothing. Didn't get anything done. Just sat there and looked. Okay, coffee. I need this in there. Coffee, I need to put 20. In there. So we got 20 deposit. Deposit 20. The balance is 20. And this is regular coffee. There's a difference between Starbucks and my regular coffee. My regular coffee is like McDonald's or something like that. Tim Hortons. Okay, takeout is needs a 20 in it. Yeah, background thing. Excuse me. Just wiggle your foot. Okay, this has a hundred in there, and I'm gonna put 120. So that'll be 120. I'm putting 20 in there and it'll be 120. We deposit 20. Because this takeout, it's the kids, too. They have a thing in their envelope. When we all go out, you never know. Nobody's really touching the snacks anymore. I don't know why. It's like, it's like more for when we go bowling or something or outing. But I'm going to still keep it up in case. So we're going to put 20 in there. And we'll have 120. Total. And we get done. So 120. Okay. Fur mama for the babies. They need 20. What is going on in here anyway? Okay. 140. Because I use 60. 160. Okay, random blah, blah, blah that happens. Random crap. I'm going to give it 10. Because it has 200 in it already. And random crap does happen. <laughs> I remember when it happened, I was taking stuff out like, okay, random crap, here we go. It's like a big, these, these envelopes that say this stuff, it's when, it, it's, your, it's the buffer. These are the buffers. This one's a buffer. I got buffers everywhere. I'm like, okay, put the buffers in there. Okay, 200 with the fan. When the bump hits the fan. And let's see, what should I put in there? Let's put 10 in there. We can... Yeah, because when they all go together, they can help out. Everybody's got one buffer. I got several buffers. I'm going to buff myself to death here. Okay, I'm like, we ain't doing this. <laughs> okay, 
Let's see you came out the little thingy make jiggy here. I'll fix you later because I know I'm gonna I check this just like I do the bank. Okay, casino time is coming. Casino. Okay, we got what five hundred and I'm gonna put in another hundred for that. Because I know they're going to spring it on me. We're going to the casino, really? <laughs> okay, this is our bowling. Our snacks or whatever we got to put. There's 200 in there. I'll put another... Well, let's see. Let's put 100 in there. Things be happening. If I don't use it, it turns into a buffer at the end. <laughs> So that'll make 300 in there. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, and this next one is manifest. I'm gonna put 10 in there. Now, we're starting with something new. If I didn't tell you in another video, what's happening in this 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 envelope? Let's start back here with this envelope. Auntie Mel in Hawaii is, if you weren't here before, is trying to get a home in Hawaii. And she has to, to have an emergency plan. That's why this is in here. Because you know me. It would, wouldn't even be in here. Okay, I don't do emergencies. But she's calling hers an emergency plan. And it keeps my mind together. Oh, that's an emergency plan. So she's saving up. She has to have so much money for her emergency plan for the company or the business or whoever is donating. I think it's a nonprofit to kick in the housing so that she can get housing for that. But she has to show them that she can save for her emergency plan. I think it's $1,000 or something. I think it is. Auntie Mel, correct me. I'll be over there anyway to look, to check anyway, other things. Because I haven't been there. I've been looking at everybody's videos and I was like, oh, Auntie Mel, no, no. Okay, so this is her envelope and this is her envelope too. All right. So I will be working on that one, and this is the manifest, blah, blah, it's 30 in there. So we'll put another 10 in here. So we got a total so far. There's 30 in here. Put another 10 in here and said stop. And so I meant to put the savings challenge in here. So I got this savings challenge. So it's 20, 30, 40. I marked out 40 over here. 10, 20, 30, 40 already. So that one goes in here to help Auntie Mel. And I don't know what day it was. You said something about September the 15th. And this one is another little one I put it in here. Somebody gave me. And so there's 10 in here. It's 50. So we'll drop another 10 in this one. And so as I get it done, I will send you the money. That's what I'll just send it quickly. Okay, there we are. So that's Auntie Mel's. She's in the family with us. We have taken over to her family with our family. And there you go. Okay, close up. All right. All right, I'm getting ready to go. Bye-bye. Enjoy your day. Have faith in what you can do. Okay? Start thinking, what can I do to, to uh, do things and get myself together? Okay? On this. So, take care. Enjoy.